my name is Rachit and I'm working as an AWS trainer with the ISP. Recently, we came across a requirement from one of our clients while we were providing some consulting services and they mentioned that they would like to query the data directly from raw files in order to perform some analysis at a very minimal or a no infrastructure cost. So what it means is that they wanted to directly run queries on the raw files without loading the data into any database tables. Sounds weird, right? But it is possible. So the most effective solution to this problem was using a very interactive query service offered by AWS platform called Amazon Athena. So today I'm going to talk about this particular service and show you how a file can be used for interactive querying without using any database. Amazon Athena is an interactive query service that makes it easy to analyze data directly from Amazon S3 using standard SQL to run ad hoc queries and get results in seconds. Athena is a serverless architecture so that there is no infrastructure required to be set up or managed and the charges are applicable only for the queries that are executed. Hence, you pay only for what you execute and there is no need to buy any server, set up any infrastructure, install any database client server application or pay for any kind of licenses. So let's let's move on and see how can we use Athena to query the data from the raw files. So for this, you would definitely need to set up an AWS account and uh, then, then use it for some uh, free services. So I've just logged into the console. Now, as I mentioned that you need to, uh, you can query the data from the raw files, which are present in S3. You need to make sure that the files before you actually query, the, sam the, the source files should be present on S3. So let's go to the S3 service first. So here I, I am into Amazon S3 and you can see that there is a bucket which is already created. So I already have a bucket here. When I go into this bucket, which I have created, I'll create a folder with the name of Athena sample one, let's say. To keep it simple, I'll just use none of the encryption settings, just save it. So here is my folder which has been created. Now within this folder, I'm going to upload my source file or the raw file on which the querying needs to be done. So I'm going to add a file here. I'm going to select the simple file. and say upload and you can see here it is showing that it has been uploaded and here you can see the file as well right if i just quickly show you the file it row is the header row and the second row is the the row which contains the data right now Now we have the file already present in our S3 bucket under the folder Athena sample one with the name of Athena sample one dot CSV. Now let's go to Athena service and try to see how can we query this particular, query the data from this particular file. So once Athena opens up, it opens up like in any other uh, like any other uh, querying, query tool, you, you have a lot of client tools available for multiple um, client server architecture databases. Um, Athena is very similar to any, any next query tool. 
So the interface looks very similar. Now, in order to actually query the data from the raw file, you will have to make sure that you create some metadata into Athena, which will point to that particular raw file to pull data from that raw file, right? So in order to make sure that we do that, we will first create a table within Athena, which will nothing be a metadata pointing to that raw file. So let's go to create table and select manually. Right. So here, if you don't have a database, you can even have an option to create a database. But since we already have created one, we will select the database. We will select the table name to keep it simple. I'm going to select the name of the table as the same um, file, the name of the file to make it consistent. Right. Uh, then it will ask me the location of the input data set. So it is going to ask me the location of the, the S3 folder, which we just created, right? So it would be S3 colon my bucket name, which is Rachitis Rami, and then my folder name. And here, and once I provide that, I will move ahead. Now it will ask me the fo format of the file, right? So you can see that these are the list of formats which Athena supports, right? Our file format was CSV, so I'm going to select a CSV. In case if your file is Excel, you'll have to convert it into CSV and then provide the required format, right? And I'm going to click on Next. Uh, now the next step will ask me to enter the details of all the columns which I have in my file. And correspondingly, I want to create a similar table out of that, right? So, or the metadata out of that. So, one way is to add one by one each column, right? But if there are multiple columns, it will be a cumbersome task. The other way is, you know, uh, you provide so there's an option of bulk add columns where you provide the list of columns in this format along with their data types. So I ha already have this list with me. I'm just going to quickly copy that and say add. So as soon as I press add, it has already created a list of all the columns which are already present in my file and for which I want to create my metadata. I'm going to click on next and we are just about to create the table now. It will add ask me for configuring any partitions. So partitions are usually required when we have large data sets, right? So in this particular case, uh, we can skip this step and directly create the table. So Athena is now creating the table or creating the metadata. So it has first now created the script which actually will create the table when we execute it. So there is a normal create script, right? A few more options wherein it provides the delimiter, the location from where the file needs to be picked up, right? And then the encryption we actually selected as false. So that is what it says. If I just select it and say run query, It says here the results are very successful, but can you see that there is no table present here? The reason is sample DB, you would see the table here. So if you can see the complete metadata is already present here with whatever details we provided, right? Now you would be thinking that the table is there. Now, if we run a select query, will the data get returned or not. So let's try to do that. Start from, I'm going to quickly double click on this table. It's going to select here and just say run query. Now, can you see that the results are coming in? So Athena is actually pointing 
to the file present on that particular location and pulling data out from there, right? Now there is one catch here. The file which is present in that particular folder. So Athena actually points to the folder name and not exactly the file name. So if we see the create script once again, So I just went and generate create table ADL and it just runs a query saying show create table. So here, the location which has been mentioned is the folder location where the file is kept. Now there are multiple files kept in this particular folder. What will Athena do is capture or combine the details of all of those files and show it to you when you run the query. Right. So what that means is that all of those files which are present in a particular they are not in the same format, then Athena is going to give you wrong results. That's a very important point to note here that whenever you are keeping files in the same folder, they should be of the same format and the data which will be returned by Athena into that table would be a union of all those files present in that particular folder. In case if you have different format files, it is important to note that they are being kept in separate folders. Now, one more thing to note here is if you run the select query once again, it's a header as well. So the catch here is that Athena assumes the first row as the data row. It cannot have any header row or present into the file. So you have to make sure that while you are putting the file for querying, you are removing the header row as which is present as the first row in case if it is present in the file, right? Because if you don't do that, it will appear as the data row into, into your data set, which is not correct. Right. So this is what um, um, you can see here that the, the first row which is coming up here, which is the header row, is also coming as a data row. Right. So let's quickly do one thing. Let's so uh, let's let's go back and actually modify that particular file once again. So I'm gonna quickly open that file again. Remove this first row as a column row. Save it. And we'll upload this file again into the S3 location. So I'm going to open S3. Go to my bucket, go to the folder, and upload the same file again, and it will overwrite that file because it's with the same name. Say upload. Okay, so it has already uploaded my file. Now let's go to Athena and run the query again. So now I have removed the header row. So the output should be just one row without the header row coming into the data. So the query is executing. Sorry, it did not. So now it is executing. And you can see here that the header is just the method of the which is defined, and the data row is coming. There's only one row which is coming as a data row. The actual header which was there in the file is since it is now not there. So Athena is reading the first row, which is the data row in, from the file and displaying that in the table. Right. So this is the way we can use Athena 
as an interactive querying service from by in order to pull data directly from the profiles. Thank you for listening to our video. And I hope uh, you would have learned how to actually query data from the raw files.